Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on this very beautiful pullover sweater. This is very easy pattern. This will suit for 2 to 3 years old girls or boys. This is a unisex version and this is a very easy pattern too. We have to repeat only one row for the whole pattern. Okay, so for this project I am going to use current 1 pound yarn. This is 100% acrylic and this is medium 4 ply yarn. So we need to use 5 mm hook for this project H and the color is hot star color. Okay. So this is a very nice and unique color and it's a unisex color too. So I'm going to use H 5 mm hook for this project. So first we need to make a slip knot to start the project. And then make a 50 chains. So you just make a 50 chains like this. So once you complete couple of chains, you have to insert the hook in the first chain like this and then again insert the hook because we need to form a big circle. So like this and then continue making 50 chains like this way. Okay, so that it will not get twist. This is a one of the trick for making the circle. So I have completed. I have got a 50 chains now. Okay, so this is the neck of the baby. So now we need to make slip stitch to finish this round. Okay, so now make a chain 3. 1, 2, 3. You need to make a double crochet in every chain stitch till the end so you should get 50 double crochets at the end of this round okay so you just this is a top down sweater so we have to start from the neck till the, the bottom so you just continue making double crochet in every chain stitch like this till the end I have completed make sure it should not get twist okay so make a double crochet in the next chain and then double crochet in the last chain here so this should be a 50th double crochet okay make sure you count it and confirm now I have completed 50 double make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round one two three third chain you have to make a slip stitch okay this is the row one this is the baby neck portion okay so it should fit for the baby head also so you can check now chain one make a front post double crochet in the same stitch back post double crochet in the next stitch Friend post. So this round is a ribbing round. So you have to make friend post, back post, friend post, back post till the end. So you just continue like this way till the end. I have completed. Now you need to make a back post double crochet in the next stitch. And then front post double crochet in the next. 
back post double crochet in the next like this now make a slip stitch in the first front post to finish this round okay this is the row 2 now row 3 you have to make the same so chain 1 make front post double crochet in the same stitch back post double crochet in the next front post in the next back post in the next so just continue like this So you just continue complete like this if you want you can add one or two more rows okay so you have to make back post double crochet in the next front post in the next back post in the next make a slip stitch in the first front post to finish this round so three rounds completed like this okay now we have to start work on the yoke neck yoke for that you have to make a chain three so one two three and then make a double crochet in the next stitch so you have to make eight double so chain three considers one double so one two this one is three okay and then four five Six, seven, and eight. So eight double one two three four five six seven eight. Now in the next stitch, make a three double crochet. This is the first corner. One, two, three. If you want, you can make a marker in the second stitch in the three stitch okay here now make a seven double crochet so one two three four five six and seven Now in the next stitch make 3 double. So this is the second corner. Okay. 1, 2 and 3. Now you have to make 16 double crochets. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, so like that you have to make 16 double so i have completed 16 double so this is a corner and then 16 double now in the next stitch make 3 double 1 2 3 okay so now continue making 7 double again so 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. In the next stitch make 3 double. So this is the 4th corner. 1, 2, and three like this seven double and then corner and then now making eight double to finish this round so one two three four five six seven eight 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like this, make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round. Okay, so this is the row four. You can see four corner. So you you can make a marker in the second second stitch of the each corner. So now chain three, make a double crochet. So you have to make double crochet in next nine stitches. I mean this is two, this is three third stitch, and then fourth stitch. Fifth stitch, sixth, seventh, eighth, nine. Okay, so nine double. Now, in the next stitch, you have to make three double. Here. So this is the middle of the previous three double, right? So there you have to make three double. One, two, three. Now you have to make double crochet in again in next nine stitches. So till here. So nine stitches. Now in the middle stitch, you have to make a three double. I mean, this is a corner. Okay, one, two, and three. Now we have to make a double crochet in the next eighteen stitches. Just continue till here. So I have completed. Now I have reached the corner, the second stitch. So here you have to make three double. One, two, and three. Now again continue making double crochet in the next nine stitches. Now in the next stitch make a three double. One, two, three, and then again continue making double crochet in every stitch till the end. Nine double.
now make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round okay this is the row 5 okay now row 6 so chain 3 and then make a double crochet in the next 10 stitches first chain 3 considered as first double so this is the second double so like that you have to make 10 double So now in the next stitch you have to make a corner so three double one two three like that and then continue making double crochet in the next 11 stitches So next stitch make a corner so three double one two three and then again continue making double crochet in the next 20 stitches So I just continue till the corner stitch so here you have to make three double and then again continue then till here and then three double so you just continue till end so I have completed and I have reached the end of this round you can see the uh, neck portion clearly now right so now we have to make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round then you have to uh, continue and repeat the pattern like this so chain three you have to make double crochet till the next corner okay and then every corner stitch you have to make three three uh, double so like this way you have to continue so just continue making a double till the corner and every row you will get eight eight stitches increase first row 58 stitches second row 66 stitches third row 74 stitches fourth row 82 stitches like that way it will get increased now you have to make a double crochet now in the next stitch is a corner so you have to make three double so one two and three and then you have to continue the same so double till corner double till corner so like that way you have to do so you just um, continue the same pattern till you reach 10 rows okay so um, every corner you have to make three three double so you can see here clearly and please uh, place a marker in the corner stitch okay so you just continue and repeat the pattern till row 10 So I have completed 10 rounds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 3 ribbing round. So totally uh, 10 rounds. Okay. So this 10th round you will get 106 double crochet stitches. Okay. So please make sure you will get 106 stitches. Now you have to make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round. So 10 rounds completed. Now 11th round. So chain one single crochet in the same stitch this round you have to make single crochet in every stitches so single crochet in next stitch so you have to make single crochet in every stitch till you reach the first corner okay
so in this corner make a single now you can see this is the middle stitch of the three double though there you have to make single crochet okay after that you just skip all the stitches and then in the next corner here directly you have to work on single crochet in the middle stitch okay so just to skip the stitches and then in the middle stitch here make a single crochet okay and then continue making single crochet in every stitch till you reach the third corner okay so like this So you just continue like this till here. So I've completed and I've reached the third corner. So here make a single crochet and then in the next stitch is the middle stitch of the corner. So there you have to make a single and then you have to skip all the stitches in the. This is the last corner, fourth corner. So here you, in the middle stitch you have to make a single crochet. Okay. Now again you have to make a single crochet in every stitch till the end of this round. So we have created two sleeves. See this is the sleeve. So you just continue making a single like this. So I have completed and I have reached at the end. So make a single crochet again. So you will get 64 single crochet at the end. So front side 32, back side 32. Okay. So you just make a slip stitch in the first single to finish this round. So totally 64. Okay. Now we have to start working on the pattern for that chain one. Okay. So you have to insert the hook in the same stitch. Pull the yarn. And then again insert the hook in the next stitch. Pull the yarn will get three loops so yarn over pull through first two loops and pull through next two loops chain one so this is the stitch we are going to work on okay so in the next two stitches you have to make so now insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn yarn over pull through first two loops pull through next two loops and then chain one so insert the hook in the next stitch insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn and yarn over pull through first two loops pull through next two loops chain one so you have to do it like this cluster stitches okay so you just continue the cluster stitches in every two two stitches okay by making chain one in the middle we just continue like this way you can see the stitches should be like this okay so you just continue the pattern till the end of this round. So you just continue like this way till the end. So I have reached at the end. Now in the next two stitches make a cluster again. So in normal round you will finish using slip stitch right. 
but for this pattern you no need to make a slip stitch you have to continue the pattern on every round okay so this is the last cluster make a chain one okay so instead of making a slip stitch to finish this round now you can see here the two stitches space is there right so in that two you already made chain one and then start the cluster stitch starting right so you have to insert the hook in the next stitch here okay pull the yarn and then insert the hook in the chain one stitch so here we made a chain one right so in the chain one stitch you just insert the hook and pull the yarn and now pull through first two loops and pull through next two loops chain one so without making slip stitch you just continue the pattern like this way so after making this you just mark a marker so that you can easily count after every round okay so this is the exactly joined stitch right this row end stitch so this stitch you have to place a marker like this way and then continue the pattern like this this you should not remove at till the end of the sweater okay now you can see this two spaces right so in the first space you have to insert the hook pull the yarn and then next space here insert the hook pull the yarn pull through first two loops pull through next two loops chain one so you have to consider this two spaces and then make the stitch middle one yarn you can see right so there two spaces so insert the hook in the first space and then insert the hook in the first space pull the yarn pull through first two loops pull through next two loops chain one so again you have to insert the hook in the first space and then every stitch has two two spaces so in the two spaces you have to work on the pattern okay so you just continue like this way till the end So you have to continue like this way in the two two spaces make a stitch until the end. So I have completed. Now I need to make again cluster stitch in the two spaces chain one and then in the next two spaces cluster stitch and then chain one the next two spaces cluster stitch. and then chain one again next to two spaces now chain one so here you can see you can see the two spaces above the marker stitch or here right so there you have to do the same so you no need to change any pattern you have to repeat only one row for the whole thing so no need to make a slip stitch no increase or decrease you just proceed with the pattern so cluster chain one cluster you can see here right so but that marker you don't remove you just continuing like this way okay so every two two spaces make a cluster stitch chain one just to continue So you just continue till the end so i have completed this is the marker right so uh, this is the end of this round okay every time when you see the marker that is the end of the each row okay so you know don't get confused you just count from the marker stitch okay so and then make a again cluster in the next two spaces chain one and then in the next two spaces 
chain one so just continue So you can see the design it is very very nice and it will be very closed stitch also perfect for the winter and this is very unique stitch you can use either way unisex pattern only so you can use for boys or girls okay so you just continue and repeat the pattern like this way totally we need to complete 30 rows now i will show you the width of the dress so from here to here 27 centimeter okay so if you want you can increase the width based on you can add sleeve chains two to three so that it will get increased this is the design okay you can see the design it is uh, it looks like this okay so you just repeat the pattern like this way till you reach row 30 so 10 rows for the neck yoke and 20 rows for the pattern rows so we have completed one two three three rounds completed right so like this way you have to complete 20 more rounds okay so i have completed 30 rounds so this is the back side and this is the front side of the dress okay you can see and look at the design wow it is very pretty okay so i've already used this stitch for one more uh, seven year old kids pullover okay so i will mention the link in the description okay this is the slow version of the stitch okay so um here this is the back side i placed a marker right so from here onwards you can count so one one two okay i will count you the double double rows okay so one two three four and then one two three four five six seven eight nine so totally nine nine means it should be 18 18 and last row will be a 19th row now this is the 20th row right so we have to finish it off this round as you as i said so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so totally 9 so 18 so last row is a 19 and this is the uh, i'm finishing 20th row now okay so at the finishing time i'm going to do the um slip stitch okay so from here to here please make sure you should complete 20 rounds and you uh, no need to remove the marker so from the marker uh, stitch you have to count and confirm whether you complete 20 rows or not okay so now we need to finish it off this 20th round so without making the cluster we have to make so from here to here i've completed this is the 19th and this is the 20th round i'm going to finish it off chain one already made now in the next space here make a slip stitch instead of making cluster you have to make a slip stitch to finish this round okay so like that way you have to complete 30 rounds now i have completed 30 rounds right so this is the 31st round so chain one and then make a half double crochet in the same space and then again half double crochet in the next space then half double crochet next to space so this round you have to make half double crochet in every space so you will get 64 half double crochets at the end okay make sure you should get a 64 half double
so you just continue like this till the end so i have completed i have got a 64 half double now you can see in next space here is there but you no need to make a half double crochet you have to directly work on the slip stitch because you should get 64 half double crochet in this round okay so like this way now you have to start working on the ribbing part okay so ribbing part chain one now you have to make a front post half double crochet in the same stitch this is chain one you no need to make so next half double stitch here you have to make a front post half double so the ribbing uh, should be half double riffing okay so front post half double back post half double front post half double back post to half double in the every stitches till the end of this round okay so you just continue making this is a back post half double and then next stitch you have to make a front post half double and then back post to half double then front post to half double so like that we have to repeat till the end So I just repeat the pattern like this till the end. So I have completed. Now you have to make a front post half double. And then again back post to half double. To finish this round. Okay. Now make a slip stitch in the first front post to half double to finish this round. Now chain one, fasten off the yard. If you want, you can add two to three rounds for the ribbing. Okay, but I have completed only two rounds: half double crochet round and then front post half double, back post half double round. So this is the part one of the tutorial. So we have completed. You can use this as a vest for the babe. It will be very nice. Or if you want you can add the sleeve okay but till this portion we have completed in the part one and remaining portion we have to continuing in the part two so i will measure you the length of the pullover so from here to here 35 centimeter right almost okay so the length of the pullover is 35 centimeter width i have already measured so if you want you can increase the length so this is the um, marker so you can remove the marker now so just we will see you in the part 2 for the sleeve if you really like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel and click notification bell icon thank you